。同学们好，今天我们来学习第八十三课 ，Lesson Eighty Three, Going on Holiday。Sam 到他的朋友 Carol 和 Tom 家做客，他们谈到了度假这个话题。Sam is talking to his friends Carol and Tom at their home about holiday. 好，我们一起来看课文，请你回答这样一个问题。Where did Sam go for his holiday this year? 今年 Sam 去哪儿度假了 ？Hello, Sam. Come in. Hi, Sam. We're having lunch. Do you want to have lunch with us? No, thank you, Tom. I've already had lunch. I had lunch at half past twelve. Have a cup of coffee then. I've just had a cup, thank you. I had one after my lunch. Let's go into the living room, Carol. We can have our coffee there. Excuse the mess, Sam. This room's very untidy. We're packing our suitcases. We're going to leave tomorrow. Tom and I are going to have a holiday. Aren't you lucky? When are you going to have a holiday, Sam? I don't know. I've already had my holiday this year. Where did you go? I stayed at home. 好，现在请你回答这个问题。Where did Sam go for his holiday this year? He stayed at home. Sam 今年度假哪儿也没去，他待在家里了。好，下面一起来看本课当中的关键词和词组，请跟我读。Mess. Pack. Suitcase， 这是一个复合词，我们可以分开来记。Suit and case。Leave，leave leave 是一个不规则动词，它的过去式是 left， 过去分词也是 left。Already， 好，一起来看本课当中的主要语言点。Hi Sam，We are having lunch。Do you want to have lunch with us？Sam 到 Tom 家做客。Tom 邀请他和他们一起吃午饭。他是这样说的 ：“We are having lunch。”我们正在吃午饭，用的是现在进行时。Do you want to have lunch with us？ 你想和我们一起吃午饭吗？但是 Sam 拒绝了 Tom 的邀请。No, thank you, Tom。原因是 ：I've already had lunch。我已经吃过午饭了。这句话是我们在这课当中的重点。是一个现在完成时，那么现在完成时的构成呢？是用 have 或者 has 加上一个过去分词 ，have lunch。那么 have 的过去分词是 had。现在完成时中所讲述的动作发生在过去，但是却对现在有着某种影响或者产生某种结果。后面常常不接时间状语，那么要强调在某一个时间发生的动作，我们要用过去时。比如 ，Sam 进一步说明他是在什么时间吃午饭的。I had lunch at half past twelve. 我是十二点半吃的午饭。那么，我们现在用第三人称来说一说 Tom 已经做过的这些动作。Tom has already had lunch. He had lunch at half past twelve. Tom 已经吃过午饭了。他是在十二点半吃的午饭。我们来比较一下这四个句子。由于 Tom 是一个第三人称单数。所以他在现在完成时当中的助动词用的是 has， 而我后面的助动词用的是 have。Already 这个副词已经，它要放在助动词之后。接着 ，Carol 又邀请 Sam 喝一杯咖啡。Have a cup of coffee then。Sam 也拒绝了，原因是 I've just had a cup, thank you。我刚刚喝过一杯。Just。表示刚刚，而前面句子当中的 already 表示已经。那么 Sam 是在什么时候喝的咖啡呢 ？I had one after my lunch。我是在午餐之后喝的咖啡。请大家注意，在这个句子当中 ，Sam 想表达的是他刚刚喝过咖啡，所以现在不想喝了。他想强调的是过去的某个动作对现在的影响，所以他用了现在完成时。而在这个句子当中 ，Sam 想强调的是过去某个时间发生的动作，所以他用了过去时。
我们来看看用第三人称单数改写这个句子应该怎么来做。Tom has just had a cup of coffee. He had one after his lunch. Tom 刚刚喝过一杯咖啡，他是午餐之后喝的咖啡。那么由于 Tom 是个第三人称单数，所以后面的助动词我们用了 has 加上一个过去分词 has just had。来看这句话 ，Let's go into the living room, Carol. We can have our coffee there. 让我们到客厅去吧，我们可以在那儿喝咖啡。Let's 表示让我们，它的后面加上动词原形。来看两个例句。Let's go. 我们走吧。Let's have some tea. 让我们喝点茶吧。Excuse the mess, Sam. This room's very untidy. Excuse the mess. 这屋子很乱。请原谅。当你刚刚搬了家，有同事来访的时候，你就可以这样来说 ：untidy， 很不整齐的。我们还可以用 mess 的形容词 messy。为什么屋子这么乱呢 ？We are packing our suitcases. We are going to leave tomorrow. Tom and I are going to have a holiday. 我们正在收拾手提箱。我们明天就走了。我和 Tom 要去度假。Pack 这个词表示收拾什么什么东西，我们还可以直接说 We are packing. 我们正在收拾东西。有一些动词，比如说 leave, arrive, go, come， 它们在表示最近的打算、计划的时候，可以用现在进行时来代替 be going to 的形式。所以这句话我们还可以这样来说 We are leaving tomorrow. 我们明天就走了。来看另外两个例句 I'm coming. 我就来，我马上就来。He's arriving tonight. 他今天晚上就到。When are you going to have a holiday, Sam? I don't know. I've already had my holiday this year. 现在大家想知道 Sam 什么时候度假 ？Sam 说我不知道，因为 I've already had my holiday this year. 今年我已经度过假了。Where did you go? I stayed at home. 你去哪儿了？我待在家里。Sam 说：“我已经度过假了。”意思是我今年没有可能再休假了。强调的是过去的某个动作对现在的影响，所以他用了现在完成时。而 I stayed at home 说的是他休假时所做的事情，讲的是过去某个时间发生的动作，所以用的是过去时。本课的重点是现在完成时。好，下面我们一起来总结一下本课中出现的基本句型。Have you had? 你已经怎么怎么样了吗 ？Have you had lunch? Yes, I have. I've already or just had lunch. 你吃过午饭了吗？是的，我吃过了。我已经或者我刚刚吃过午饭。如果没有吃过午饭，怎么说呢 ？No, I haven't. I haven't had lunch yet. 我还没有，我还没有吃午饭呢。请大家注意，现在完成时的构成方式，它是由助动词 have 或者是第三人称单数的时候，我们要用 has 加上过去分词构成的。规则动词的过去分词和过去式是一样的，但是不规则动词的过去分词却没有什么规律可循。我们只有逐一记忆。下面我们来看看在现在完成时当中经常出现的副词 ：already、just 和 yet。在肯定句当中，我们常用 already、已经或者是 just 刚刚，它们是放在助动词 have 或者 has 之后。那么在否定句当中，我们常用 yet， 它的位置常常是在句尾。好，下面我们再来看一遍课文。请大家跟读，并且注意 Sam 是怎样表达他已经或者刚刚做了某件事情。Hello, Sam. Come in. Hi, Sam. We're having lunch. Do you want to have lunch with us? No, thank you, Tom. I've already had lunch. I had lunch at half past twelve. Have a cup of coffee then. I've just had a cup, thank you. <laughs>